Hello and welcome to Crack Suite. Today in this video, I will show you how to install Pitch Black Custom Recovery on Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. To install any custom recovery, your phone's bootloader must be unlocked. I've already unlocked the bootloader of this phone. And in case if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, then I have made a separate video on it. You can watch that video from the description section. And this is the unofficial Peace Black recovery. Official version is still not available for now. So you also need to root your phone to install this Peace Black recovery on this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. And I have already rooted this phone. As you can see here, my phone is already rooted. And I have made a separate video on how to root Redmi Note 9 Pro Max without having custom recovery. The video link will be in the description section. Watch that video and root Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Now we have to enable the developer option and USB debugging. For this, tap on MIUI version about 7 times. Then the developer option will be enabled. Then go back and go to the additional settings. Then click on developer options. Then there you will see USB debugging. Simply enable it. Now I will show you that I haven't installed any custom recovery on my phone. For this, I will reboot my phone to the recovery mode. You can also reboot it to the recovery mode by long pressing the power button and volume up button together. And you can see this is the stock recovery. No any custom recovery is installed. Now reboot your phone to the fast boot mode by long pressing power button and volume down button together. Then connect the phone to the computer with the help of data cable. Then place the phone there and go to the computer. So here in computer you have to download these two files. The first one is ADB setup and the second one is pitch black recovery zip file. First of all install that ADB setup. Right click on it and click on run as administrator. Then type Y button from the keyboard and hit the enter. Type Y again and hit the enter. Type Y again and hit the enter button. And then click on next and then click on finish. Now the ADB and fastboot drivers are installed on our computer. Now we have to extract that pitch black recovery zip file. Right click on it and click on extract files. I'm using WinRAR extractor. You can use any extractor you want it to. So this is the extracted folder. Simply open it. And inside that TWRP folder, you will find recovery image file. Simply copy that image file and go to the C drive. You will find ADB folder there. Just go to the ADB folder and paste that recovery image file here. Now right click off your mouse holding shift button together and then click on open PowerShell windows. Then window PowerShell will open and here we have to type some commands. Our first command is fastboot space devices and hit the enter button. Then some number will shown which means our phone is connected to the computer in fastboot mode. Now type another command which is fastboot space boot space recovery.img and hit the enter button and this will flash pitch black recovery on your phone and at the same time you will also notice that your phone will reboot to pitch black recovery and at last type exit exit and hit the enter button this will exit this windows power cell and you will notice that it asks you to draw the pattern to decrypt the data on your mobile phone so simply go to your mobile phone and draw the pattern of your lock screen to decrypt the data and then put your phone there and go to the computer again. Now we have to copy that pitch black recovery zip file from the desktop. So simply copy it. Then go to your phone section and paste it here. There is one bug. It does not show internal storage when the device is connected in pitch black recovery mode. But it will show SD card so you can paste it there. You can also download or copy that pitch black recovery zip file at the beginning before starting the flashing process so that you don't need to copy it again. So now our work in computer is done. Let's go to the mobile phone. Now you can remove that data cable. So this is how pitch black custom recovery looks like. First of all click on that install button and then select the pitch black recovery zip file that you have copied on your SD card just a few moments ago. It's now showing internal storage. If you have copied that pitch black recovery zip file on your internal storage, then you will find it here. 
but it's on my SD card. So I have to go to the SD card section. For that, click on that up or level written there. Then click on external SD. So now we are on SD card section. Now locate that piece black recovery zip file and click on it. Then swipe to the right to flash it. And when it's done, simply reboot it to the system. And then your phone will reboot to the system. And now it's rebooted to the system. And now I will show you that Peach Black Recovery is still there on my recovery mode. For this, I will reboot my phone to the recovery mode again. You can also reboot it to the recovery mode by long pressing power button and volume up button together. And as you can see, Peach Black Recovery is still there on my recovery mode. So, in this way, we can install Peach Black Recovery on Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. And I hope you like this video and if you do then hit that like button, comment below if you have any kind of question, queries, problem or any kind of suggestion and share this video as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to our Crack Sweet YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye. Take care.